It is well into the afternoon. And this is my first cup of coffee in this cup anyway. This is my uh, model table coffee. And I've been busy this morning. And uh, one of the things that I was busy at, I had to go out and change a light bulb in, at my front door. The outside light. And so I decided I'll, I'll change both of them at the same time because, you know, who knows when the other one's going to go and might not be convenient to, to change it. So even though it's still working, I changed it anyway. Now, when I'm out there struggling with my stepladder and one of the neighbors is walking down the street and comes over and says, can I change that for you? <laughs> Yeah, I guess I was looking pretty uh, pretty old and decrepit. <laughs> when you see me here at the model table, uh, you don't know it, but uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not a spring chicken anymore at all. <laughs> so here's what we're here's what we're gonna do. Do you remember about uh, two years ago, Tony had sent us a model, and that model contained some photo etch and the idea with that model was I was supposed to practice uh, airbrushing on it and I did. In fact, I, I've still got parts of it. Well, I don't need to show you. I'm sure you, I'm sure you know which ones I've got there. Uh, so, so what I've done is I've taken a couple of little pieces here and, and I've just put them in the ultrasonic cleaner and I'm going to, I'm going to dry them off here and uh, I'll probably uh, treat them with rubbing alcohol and uh, try and get them as pristine as possible so that we can practice with our little uh, soldering iron here. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how this is going to go. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a whole new technique. It's not like uh, soldering wires that you've wound together. Uh, anyway, let's uh, get at this here and see what we can do. Now, I've got four pieces here, and uh, one of them is kind of small. I'm not seeing it. Okay, there it is. If I can get it out, that is. I don't want to bend it because I have a sort of a special idea for it. I will just... Get as much of this off as we can. I'm probably overdoing it. I usually do. Okay, now before that uh, I water airbrush cleaner uh, hardens on back into some sort of a coating, I'll try and get it to rinse off here. All right. Okay, this is isopropyl ninety nine percent. Now I have, uh, rinsed all of the uh, Iwata airbrush cleaner out of this paintbrush here, so I think we're probably going to swab it right down to pretty much the bare metal. Although I, I am kind of seeing a, what you might call a bit of a, a residue. Now the, the trick is going to be now to not touch this with my uh, with my uh, fingers and get grease on it. Okay, that's about as good as we're going to get it, right? Oh, 
Okay, let's pretend that we want to, I keep wanting to say glue, we want to solder this little railing along the inside corner of this piece of metal photo etch. Something like, something like this. Might have to straighten it out just a little bit. It looks like it's not at perfect right angles. Well, maybe for all intents and purposes, it, maybe it is here. No, I'm going to try and straighten it. I don't know if I can here. I'm probably going to overdo it. Just give it a little squeeze. Maybe I'll have to do it off camera here. Now, don't touch it with your fingers. Mm, I think I got it too much. Well, that's going to have to do. Okay, we want to we want to solder it as, as close to the edge, the inside edge of this L bracket as we can. Okay, now what will be the best way to go about that? I've, I've sort of got an idea here. What if I was to take a pair of tweezers, not necessarily these ones, but and just sort of lay it after after I get the the flux on the bottom rail that is, because that's what I plan to do. Could I just lay it, lay it on there? Would that hold it down? No, these are too wide. I have to find something different, but I think the idea is good. And I'll, I'll put the macro lens on too, so we can watch the, you know, the solder flowing and so on. I, I don't think we're going to set our wood on fire. Okay, still nothing is plugged in. But I'm, I'm thinking that I would like to be able to come at this piece from, from this edge that I'm touching right now, not from the back. In other words, if, if this part here was maybe held up a little bit in the helping hands, I would be able to come in and, and just touch the, the inside edge. And not only that, if I'm using the helping hands, uh, it's not going to move. So I don't want this thing to move. Um, yeah, this is this is all really new to me. So, uh, I mean, not soldering. I've done I've done lots of soldering since I was a, a kid, actually, but uh, never anything this delicate like this. Well, no, that's not true. I uh, once tried to solder together some little tiny wires that I got out of a a, a wire that came. You know those old old fashioned earplugs that we used to get. Well, the uh, the wire that was in that was pretty fine. I do recall trying to solder that and not having very good luck now that I think about it. You know, I just realized something. That viewer was right. This does make a good poking device. Okay, just doing another dry run here. Am I going to be able to come up at the edge of this and touch it without moving it? Oh yeah. Maybe maybe that's not the best angle. Maybe it should be turned a little bit more so I can come in at it this way. Okay, we are readjusted here. And I still haven't got any uh, flux on the bottom rail here. But I think we could probably stick it down something like that. Uh, we're, we're still doing a dry run here. And I just want to see, can I come and touch that and, and heat the edge up there? I, I think it probably will. Now, I realize that this, this, this clip here is going to act like a heat sink. But I think that this is far enough away that it's still going to allow this, uh, this uh, piece of brass here, this brass plate, um, I mean, it's really, really small. You could hardly call it a plate. But I, I do believe that the heat is going to wick its way along. Uh, now, this is just, just my uneducated opinion. I, I'm pretty sure I can drag this along like this. As long as, as long as I'm touching it, I think the heat will transfer enough into the metal. Uh, anyway, enough talk. Let's, let's uh, see if we can't figure out how I'm going to get the... Uh, 
I was going to say curing agent. I'll, I'll, I'll get it right yet, folks. The uh, the acid flux uh, along the bottom rail there. Um, yeah. Now, I'm just wondering, has this paste here lost its potency? It's pretty old. Now, we just want to get it along the bottom there. I don't want to be getting the paste, uh, you know, up the rails, or up the posts, rather, because if I do, the, uh, I believe the solder might sort of wick its way. Well, that's probably too much. You know, the, the tendency is to think, well, you, you can't have too much of this stuff because it'll sort of wash away. Okay, did I get it at the end here? I think I did. Okay, let's just move this out of the way before I stick my fingers in it. Now, uh, I don't worry, I will put the macro lens on. Let's turn this down here. Now, don't drop it, don't drop it. It could have been bent just a little bit more V-shaped, if you know what I mean. It's not a perfect fit, but uh, I think for all intents and purposes, it's going to be all right. Um, we are going to use this uh, uh, solder that came with the, uh, with, the, with the soldering iron. I have no idea what percentage it is. I don't know if it's 50-50 or 60-40 or something like that. But we're just going to trust that it's going to work. And uh, I'll put the macro lens on now. Okay, we are plugged in, but I haven't pressed the A button yet, so it hasn't started to heat up. Now, I'm going to leave it at 300 degrees. Uh, Tony was recommending 350, and I got a feeling that it could well be that, th that this piece right here is so large that we might have to increase it to 350. But let's just try 300, and if it doesn't want to work, I'll, I'll start out here at the end and uh, work my way around. Now the way I'm going to do it is, uh, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try and sample a little bit off of the end here. And and then hopefully it's going to it's going to stay on the on the tip. It it should. Uh, I'm noticing now my my tip, I didn't tin it quite as well as I thought. It it doesn't tin the way the uh other soldering irons did. But anyway, let's here we're going to turn it on here. Okay, it uh, says it's at 300. Let's see what's going to happen here. Well, it's smoking. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think I can tell already it's... it's uh, Okay, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take Tony's advice and I'm gonna increase the temperature up to. Uh, well, let's just try it here just for the fun of it. But it, no, no, you're not gonna be able to see anything. You're on the other side there. Okay, uh, Tony, I'm gonna take your advice and increase it to 350 here. Okay, we are at 350. Did I get any on there?
I'm wondering if maybe I should be using a, uh, I think this is just too cold. It's just not flowing. Wonder if I should try the other solder. Well, it, it is soldered on there. I just, I'd like to see it flow right, right to the corner. I think possibly because this, this piece of solder is, or this piece of brass is so large. Now, maybe I can get this little What would happen if I drop this in here? Is this gonna Okay, I am going to take and get my toothpick here and get some more flux. Okay, that's probably too much, but... starting to flow now. All right, let's uh, clean that up and have a look at it. Oh, look at all the flux that flowed out here. Well, it is after three o'clock already. And uh, I've got most of the uh, flux, you might say, removed from this thing. Um, I don't think we have time to put the macro lens on here and, uh, and take a look at our little uh, railing but the the plan is to put it on here put on the micro lens and we'll take a nice close look but you know folks that's going to have to be tomorrow because uh, i've got a, a lot of editing to do and uh like i say it's after three o'clock already so thanks for watching everybody and all being well we'll see you tomorrow